Well, Dave, for this segment, what I wanted you to, to speak on is a topic that's a little bit confusing, I think, for a lot of folks. Uh, it's, it's very um, elementary for you, but I'd, I'd, I'd like for you to talk about plant reproduction, in particular with fruit trees. Um, I'd like to discuss the need for pollinators, as well as the mixing of varieties in fruit trees to get better yields on the fruit. If, if you could speak to that, that'd be great. Well, orchardists have long known that it helps to have several varieties so that you can get good cross-pollination. While so much of rosacea, let me say that's the prunus group, that's peaches, plums, apples, apricots, nectarines, almonds, and cherries, all of those will self-pollinate, but you'll get so much better set and you'll get better uh, fruit growth if you have external pollination. So fruit orchardists normally put a row of one variety or two rows and then a, another variety so they get that forced cross-pollination. And the same thing would be true at Wild Tree if you're looking for plant material in plums, Chickasaw, whether it's slow plums and some of the wild plums that we have, we have a tremendous number of plums. It helps to have some diversity from seedlings. Each one of them is a little bit different and as a result you enhance your cross-pollination, which increases fruit set. Some are totally self-incompatible. They will not self-pollinate, and as a result, you need to have some other external source of pollination. And it's like timing. You have to have flowers that are, have anthers that are releasing pollen at the same time that the female flower is receptive. So you, the more you have, the more opportunity for pollination. So as you browse our, our plant availability, uh, you'll, and you're, you're, you're thumbing through our, our, fruit, our fruit trees, what we want you to do is pay attention to the, um, the actual uh, the pollination requirements. Whether, so we'll, we'll make recommendations for a complementary plant if one is not self-fertile. 